Wilbrod Buchana set up the first mobile telecommunication network in South Sudan. The business failed nearly a decade ago, but he's still counting his losses. I sold off my piece of land, about 600,000, which I invested in South Sudan. I took equipment, motor vehicles, machinery, which are still now down in South Sudan. By the time I left South Sudan, I lost about $500,000. Uh, to, the, to date, I've not recovered. Will Broad is among the thousands of local business people that struggle to cope as the ongoing conflict takes its toll. But there is a ray of hope for some as Uganda's government moves to sign a deal this week with South Sudan. The agreement is that the government of Uganda will hand out 41.6 million US dollars to many Ugandan entrepreneurs who lost business because of South Sudan's conflict. And then once the war is done, South Sudan will reimburse Uganda with interest. But some still aren't happy. Entrepreneurs like Wilbrod, who lost their businesses near the start of the conflict, claim the process to hand out the money is biased. The lists are not harmonized. People who lost money in 2007 are thrown back, and people who lost money in 2015 are at the top on the list. So there is lack of harmonization, and who is in charge? Since South Sudan's independence in 2011, the country has been Uganda's largest single export market, but the war has dwindled revenue earnings for Uganda. The Bank of Uganda annual reports indicate that Uganda earned an estimated $1.3 billion back in 2012. This figure has gone down to just under $300 million US dollars in June 2017 worth of exports to South Sudan. But while Uganda believes the planned payout will revive lost hope and also boost the country's economy, many local business people believe it's too little, too late. They say the government should instead focus on boosting trade. You find Ugandans who are in South Sudan are not registered. So we had to sensitize the people before going. And if we cannot register our companies in South Sudan, meaning we have to open up our border markets, I think that would have put people in the proper system and the business would be moving well. As Will Broad Buchana awaits to see if his name will appear on the list of entrepreneurs getting money, he is now farming to make a living. A far cry from being a business leader in telecommunications. Michael Baleke, CGTN, Kampala, Uganda.